Hey team, keep bragging. It's uh, Jumpman Hollow. We got Shwasted. We got Balahala here. Balahala Yo. just got here from Hawaii. Multiple hours ago. Yep. He had a little bit of a journey. Brandon, why don't you uh, tell us about the journey? Well, we started out yesterday. That would be 2 p.m. Hawaiian time from Hawaii. Flew to Seattle. What time would that be? Hours. 2 2 p.m. Hawaiian. Where are we looking at mountain time? Uh, 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Arrived. Found out my flight was two hours late. Arrived 11.30 Seattle time, 2.30 a.m. here. <laughs> yeah. It's and good. Then, uh, good. Ended up sleeping on the uh, airport floor for seven and a half, eight hours. Nice. That's a good night's sleep, though. It was a good time. Seven hours. That's where you're shooting for every night. I mean, it was pretty solid sleep until the lady came and was vacuuming the floor that I was laying on. So. What nationality she was, nice. was she? Kellen's nationality. Hey. <laughs> Yes, that That's would racist. make sense. That would make sense. <laughs> That's racist. It's funny because it's racist. <laughs> this usually spells trouble, actually. Last time uh, he was out here, actually not last time, but the time before that, uh, we were all at Warp Tour, and me and Brandon decided to go shot for shot. Well, Kellen and, decided. Oh, uh, well. His okay. <laughs> it, was, it was Brandon's 21st birthday in his defense. He was also Thank pushing you. for the vodka shots, I believe. Thank but you. Anyway, uh, that led to me being blackout drunk inside of Warp Tour and basically getting lost in an enclosed area, missing one of the uh, one of the bands that I most wanted to see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It was less he than had a, He had a pound and a half of grass, literal like Bermuda grass on his head because everybody was throwing it on him because he was making a mockery of himself in the middle of the uh, of the lawn there. Who the fuck that blacks happened. out at Warp Tour? Get so drunk they black out at Warp Tour. Yeah, I don't Easy. know. But fucked a year up. later, Easy. that's so, fucked up. Someone Easy managed to get kicked out. That is a joke. <laughs> that's <laughs> a legend. <laughs> I was there at the end. <clears throat> well, anyways, uh, so we're pretty excited to have Brandon here um, to start the festivities off. We are going to be hitting up Opus again tonight for Restaurant Week. Uh, I think uh, I speak for all of us when I say we're pretty excited for that. It was a very, very good last time. Kellen, what did you have uh, last time we were at Opus? Uh, last time I had the short rib rag out, and uh, it was beyond amazing. Um, you know, even the sides come up to it. Even the, the salad that was served before it, just excellent quality. I can see why it's been voted uh, top five in the 5280 magazine for Denver restaurants. Um, you know, it kind of speaks for itself, really. I would highly recommend it to everyone. Nice. So yeah, we're pretty excited. Uh, cured salmon for appetizer was good, really good last time, and then I had the sea bass, which was one of the best I've had ever. So that's exciting. Um, then uh, got the nuggets on tonight. Uh, first game back after a four-day break, which is a pretty long break in the NBA. You don't normally get, uh, you know, even over three days typically. So it's pretty exciting. You know, hopefully everybody got rested. Ready for the uh, the final stretch run here. We got I think about twenty games left. Does that sound right? I think we got less than that. Well, oh, yeah, it's about eighteen games left. Eighteen games left. Uh, <clears throat> so I mean, it's kind of do or die time here. Trying to move up the standings. Hopefully, get into that four slot. That's where I'm hoping we get. Um, we do have a pretty tough schedule coming down the stretch, though. Uh, I think we got ten ten road games out of the eighteen. So yeah, and it's going to be a pretty pretty tough break. And not to mention, it's you know it's really coming down to grind time. The last six games. Will be played within a nine-day period, so well, it's going to be it's going to be tough. <laughs> but I mean, we do have the new team. I think they're pretty they're built for this type of run. Uh, whereas I Absolutely. think with Melo on the team, uh, you know, something like this, I wouldn't be looking too favorable. You know, with all the road games, you know, he never really got it done on the road. So with the new guys, I'm definitely a lot more confident in you know our road play and you know having to grind out wins. So it's exciting to to have that to look forward to. Yeah. Um, so they're going to be playing Phoenix tonight, 8.30 uh, Mountain Time. Um, so we're going to hit dinner up, you know, and get some drinks in us and then watch the game here, hopefully have some fun people over. Um, then we're also going to try to uh, go to the game on Saturday. Uh, we just checked uh, our trusty site, and it <laughs> wasn't very trusty this time. Uh, $60 for third row tickets, or third deck tickets. Uh, to see the measly Pistons play, which is far mm -hmm. from a good deal. Yeah. So we're going to hopefully, you know, figure something out with that and uh, get some good tickets, get yeah. situated for Saturday night on that. Girl Talk Friday night. Girl Talk will be Friday night. Uh, hopefully, again, we get tickets. Uh, needless to say, we haven't been planning ahead very much lately. <laughs> we're just going to kind of, you know, run with it, you know, yeah. improvise, I think. Yeah. One so of Brandon's qualities. Normally our strategy. Yeah, it's one of one of our one of our strong suits, I'd say. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Seems to always go well when we improvise. Now, Warp Tour improvised. Yeah. You guys improvised a little shot for shot. Absolutely. And that, well, other than Kellen Miss and Breathe Carolina, that was a success. Yeah. We create fun. That's what we do. Fun forcers. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully we got a lot of drinking to be done this weekend. Uh, just had a, a real good friend of ours, African American female, just turned 21. <laughs> so, hopefully we'll be. Uh, We'll be doing that, drinking with her, partying, and celebrating. Um, anything else you guys want to add? Callum, why don't you tell them about our uh, our sports sports show that we're going to be um, getting started in the next few days? Absolutely. Uh, the next couple of days, we're going to start a, a show that's called Inside Out. And um, we decided to name this because it's going to be uh, mostly relevant to Denver sports, uh, the inside, and then also kind of going outside Denver and... Uh, Talking about a lot of the mainstream mainstream things that are happening in the in the nation as far and, and actually possibly the world uh, happening in the sports world uh, that would be the out part. So uh, I hope you guys are looking forward to that, and because I know we are. Yeah, so look for that coming soon in the next few days. Hopefully, we'll get one up before the weekend ends. Uh, kind of recap the weekend uh, for everybody. Yeah. Um, Brandon, anything you'd like to add? It's great to have a good time, dude. Be out here for two weeks. It's good to hear. It's uh, a grind. Um, I have alerted the Denver that PD <laughs> that you were in town. Yeah, I, that's good. They, they already know about Bevel, so... As long as it's not Pueblo, then we'll be Yeah, out. no, Pueblo, off limits. <laughs> so, off, uh, off limits until August 1st. Yeah. August 1st, we will be back, Pueblo. <laughs> love you guys. <laughs> One love. Uh, so, yeah, um, that's it for now. We'll be back um, with uh, Inside Out, Episode 1, hopefully soon. Um, hope you guys have a safe, fun weekend, and keep bragging. And uh, we also apologize for the uh, shifty camera work. Bullshit.